Right you guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 7 uh, Starter onto a little netbook. I've got a little Toshiba netbook here and um, it needs to be reinstalled and I'm going to show you how to do that using a USB flash drive. Now these don't come with any CD-ROM drives so it can make it quite difficult. Now my daughter's absolutely annihilated this one and it needs to be sorted out. It just doesn't work very well and guess what? She's never made a backup or restore discs for it because she thinks good old dad's going to do it for her which is the case and I'm left to fix this for her. So what we're going to do is get hold of a Windows CD. I uh, don't have Windows 7 starter version. I'm going to show you because most people aren't going to have that and I'm going to show you how you can create a Windows 7 starter disk uh, to show you how to do it. Okay. Now we're going to be using Windows 7 Home Premium and then we're going to convert that into a Windows 7 uh, disk from Home Premium to 7. Uh, starter and then install that using the disk part onto a flash drive and away we go anyways let's get started anyway there's a bit of criteria that you're going to need to have and that is um, a Windows disk as I said and we've got Windows Home Premium here and also a flash drive now this flash drive must be a minimum of four gigabytes in size otherwise it's not going to work for you so that's the size you're going to need okay four gigabytes is a starting block for that so let's get started. Okay, so what we need to do now is open up a command prompt window and prepare our uh, USB thumb drive with a disk part. So we're going to come down to the start button and type CMD. I'm going to right click on this and run this as administrator. This will open up a command prompt window and it should say administrator in the top left hand side. From there we're going to fire up disk part. and we need to list all the disks on the drive on this computer so list disk you can see there's three disks online and one of them is a real small one 3836 megabytes that's our thumb drive which is three four gigs so what we're going to do here is select this uh, disk 2 or type in that and it should say selected and from there we need to type clean to clean it Now we need to uh, create a partition primary. By typing create partition primary, and it should say succeeded. And from there we need to select partition one. And that should say selected. Now we need to make it active, like so. And then what we want to do there is do format equals NTFS. Now I'm going to be using NTFS on mine. I'm going to type quick for a quick format. Now we need to assign it a drive letter, so we're going to go assign Now we can exit out of this, so I'm just going to go exit and we should be back at a normal command prompt. So what we want to do here now is use the xcopy command and we're going to copy all the contents from F to J and that's all we need to do and we can do that with the xcopy command. So we type X copy and then we need to do F which is the actual drive with uh, all the content on it i.e. The, the Windows stuff and then we're going to do all files and then forward slash S then E then F then space and then what we need to do is make sure we've got the J drive selected here so it's going to be J uh, colon backslash okay like so push enter and it's now starting to copy this all across as you can see
Okay, so that's now complete. All we need to do now is exit out of this. And if we look on my computer here, we can see the drive is now being filled up. And this is the actual Windows. And what we need to do here now is to make this uh, the starter version, which is compatible with my license key that I've got here. I need to come into Sources here. And come down and you can see a file here called ei.config now if I open this up inside notepad you'll see it says home premium and all you need to do here is change this to starter really if you wish and this will make it a starter version okay now if you wish to uh, make all these versions available then you can do by adding those in. You can change it to whatever version you like, okay? Now, if you wanted to make a universal CD, all you'd need to do is delete this file and it will make it a universal one, which would be every version, okay? And then I'll delete it. That's now gone. Okay, so I've deleted it. So I'm going to close this off now. And what I'm going to do now is uh, fire up the camera so you can actually see me install uh, Windows 7 uh, via the uh, USB thumb drive. Okay, so this is our Toshiba 10-inch uh, netbook. As you can see, it's got no uh, CD-ROM drive in it. And uh, we're going to be installing Windows 7 with the USB flash drive that we created earlier on. So this is our USB flash drive. We're going to need to plug this in. We're going to set the boot order in our BIOS so we can boot to our USB thumb drive. So I'm going to power it up and then I'm going to keep tapping F2 on the keyboard. Now yours may be different, maybe the Dell key, but this one is F2 and there's our BIOS. So we're just going to go along to where it says boot using the cursor keys there and uh, pull the uh, cursor key down to where it says USB and use the F6 or F5 to go down, up and down. So F6 to go up and bring it to the top first boot and push on F10 to save that. And this is going to reboot the system and we should now be starting to boot from the USB thumb drive. And you can see the light flashing there and that means it's reading the actual thumb drive. And that will start to install. So what we're going to do here is uh, click on next and then click on install Windows 7. Now as you can see we've got a universal CD here, we've got a Windows starter. We can click on that and then click on enter and this is the CD or USB we created earlier on. just accept the license agreement click next then go to custom and there's the Windows drive there we want to delete that so we're going to come down to uh, advanced options there and delete that drive it'll give you a warning and then we click on new which because we want to we actually create a new partition with our unpartitioned space and then click on next now this bit's going to speed up Okay, so I speeded that process up. You want to remove the USB thumb drive at this stage when it reboots. And once that's rebooted, it will start to build your Windows for the first time. So we're going to quickly reboot the system here. And uh, it's now going to set up the registry for you and then start up your services. 
and it will complete the installation. Now once this is done, it will prepare your desktop and your account for the computer. This is where you just put your name in here and after this you just get a choice of a password and then put your product key in which should be on the back of your netbook. Now I'll put the first few keys in. Select your uh, time zone for your country and then from there you just click next. You can set up your wireless account here or your internet account here. I'm going to say skip that and then it will get to the desktop. And there you are, we're straight to the desktop. So all that process, and uh, it was a bit of a long video, but I wanted to make sure I showed you the whole process there. So I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favorite my videos. And if you've got any video requests, then give me a shout and I'll do those videos for you. Have a great weekend and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.